big, big, big update in the Oink for Influencers extension. And yes, we're on YouTube. No, you're not dreaming. We do have Oink buttons in YouTube. That's because I have put the YouTube repurposing feature on steroids to make it easier for you to repurpose your content from Amazon and your storefront over to YouTube. I'm gonna show you what you can do with this first and then I'm gonna show you how to set it up. Now, what if you were repurposing a video, it's uploading to YouTube and you wanted to be able to pull in the information from that product very quickly so you don't have to fill all that stuff out and maybe even import a Genius link. Okay, let's do that. Or maybe you prefer to upload a bunch of videos at the same time over to YouTube, but now you need to go back and quickly update them so that they have your product links on them. How can we do that? We got these little fancy pink buttons here and maybe I'm gonna show you all of the content from your Amazon storefront over here on YouTube so you could easily search for and find the products that you want, tag them and automatically tag that product so that you can quickly go through and update everything that you've got here. I'm really excited to show you guys this and I'm just gonna jump into it. If you're an Amazon influencer and you don't have the Oink for Influencers extension, I'll put a link in the description down below. This is a pro feature of the extension. So what we wanna do first is whenever we are on YouTube, we wanna create our own custom default templates. And so you're gonna go to the upper left-hand corner, you're gonna click the, oink, the, 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 oink, the pink Oink button and this is gonna open up the template. Now the cool thing here is we have placeholders that we can use with these templates, which are gonna populate the messages that we want later with the right product name, brand name, URL, etc. So here's how I set mine up. So this, the title is always gonna have the brand name and then the product name, and then I just type these additional words here with my disclosures. You can set yours up however you want. This is just how I set mine up. And I do the check it out here, the product link placeholder. To use the placeholders, all you gotta do is you click the little plus icons over here and select whatever you want and it'll automatically insert it into the chat. Same thing with what's going up the, the chat, the boxes. Same thing down here. So create yourself a nice custom template. This is gonna appear on every video that you upload so that you can do this efficiently and get more videos uploaded over to YouTube. Whenever you're done, you're simply gonna click the save button. Now that we have a custom template saved, we need to start uploading content from YouTube. We're gonna select the exact same files that we are already uploading to Amazon or have uploaded to Amazon and upload them here to YouTube. Now, first let's go through what this looks like in real time. Let's say that I'm uploading a video to Amazon right now. Okay, so we're starting out on Amazon in this example and we're gonna upload the video that we just created for the Amazon storefront. We've already selected our file, it's uploading. I'm gonna do my thumbnail. I got to tag the product. So let's just take something right here and I'll take just kind of, I'll do whatever I can get here. Let's go for this one. And then I'm going to put my title in of whatever I want. Oh, it's got a campaign for it. Uh, and by the way, if you're not doing the title checker every time that you upload a video to make sure that the title you're creating isn't like exactly what somebody else already has, just click that T button here to make sure that whatever you're selecting doesn't already exist. You want unique titles and everything that you do. But for now, Everything's done. We've got our video uploading. We have selected the product as tagged and now we have a title. So what you wanna do now is we're gonna select upload to YouTube. Now th again, this is for whenever you wanna just literally upload to Amazon and upload the same video to YouTube at the exact same time, basically in real time. Now before, the way that this worked is you'd click that button, this button that's down here, and it would just send you directly over to YouTube. Now, obviously something quite a bit different. It's showing you a pop-up of the information that we're gonna be sending over to YouTube so that you can upload that video faster and tag it faster. So we've got, of course, the product title, the URL, the brand name, and the actual name of the title that you are naming it. Now, what's really cool here is we're gonna change this link because I don't wanna just send the regular Amazon link over. I can't get any credit for this. So what I'm gonna do is you can see it says right click to create a genius link. I'm gonna right click it. I'm gonna select create genius link from selected URL. Sometimes you gotta hit this one twice. Uh, I've told genius link about it. They are aware of this, but you're gonna see a pop-up that says, okay, this is now a genius link in your dashboard. And it converted it in the actual pop-up to a genius link. So now when we send this over to Amazon, it is an already formatted Genius Link that all we have to do is press a button and insert. Now, if you don't use Genius Link, if you use like Link Twin, or if you wanted to use the Site Stripe link or whatever the case is, you can just simply click the edit icon and insert it into here and it'll populate it into the pop-up. But this is exactly what I want. Now, again, you have to have Genius Link, the service, in order for that to work. And it's only like six bucks a month or something. I don't know, everybody should have something like that. And it's gonna help you get more out of those links once they're over on YouTube so you get more credit for the people actually clicking on your stuff. I'll put a link down in the description below so you can go over and get it real easy. So now that we've got our information for our product, it's already uploading here on, on Amazon. What we're gonna do is do the create YouTube 
video button. As soon as we click that button, it's gonna open up YouTube for us. So we're gonna pick the file that we are repurposing the video. I'm just gonna pick this one for the sake of this demonstration. This is the same video file you're currently uploading to Amazon at the same time. Now check this out. All you have to do is click the little piggy icon, click update video and watch it automatically populate your title and your description with the information that we are also uploading at the same time over there to Amazon. Because sometimes these titles, if you use the product name, it might go over a little bit. So for me, I'm just gonna make a quick adjustment there. And, and there we go, all ready to go. Gotta pick your screen saver or your, your thumbnail, gotta pick your category and pick down here that it is gonna be sponsored, which you should be doing on all of your repurpose videos and you're good to go. So when you are doing this in real time, uploading it on Amazon, and then turn right around, you can upload and repurpose to YouTube very, very quick, quickly with just a couple of buttons once you have your custom defaults set up. But let me show you what I prefer to do. Instead of doing them one video at a time, I upload many videos to YouTube at a time, 10, 15, 20 at a time. So let me show you how to do this exact same thing in bulk. So for me, the most efficient way to be able to do the repurposing from Amazon over to YouTube isn't to do it one video at a time. It's actually to take several files and upload them all to YouTube at once. You can do up to 15 and you can do that multiple times a day and then go through and just hit them all very quickly once they're already uploaded to Amazon. But in order to do that, we need a way to quickly tag those videos and pull the information from our Amazon storefront over to YouTube. And that's exactly what the extension does now. So here's how this is going to work. You're going to go through, I've already uploaded these. You can see they're in drafts. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let me show you how this works. You can see as I hover over these, there is a little pink button that appears. We're going to first, well, first, here's what I want to do. I want to see what this video is because the thumbnail is kind of hard to see. I'm going to do a right click and this is, okay, this is a ghost video. I know what this is. So let's click the icon here. Now what this is gonna do is it's pulling store info, or video information from your storefront that matches this specific video's timestamp. You can see here, this video that we're uploading to YouTube is 124 and everything listed here is 124. After it finds the exact matches, then it'll go down within a second of difference. And you can just scroll through real quick. I'm looking for that ghost. I don't see it. I'm gonna click the next five and you can scroll through this way. The problem is there are a lot of videos on my storefront in this range. You can see there is 16 pages of this. So to expedite the process, I'm simply gonna type in the word ghost. This search is gonna look on your storefront at the titles of your videos, and it's gonna show you the results for any video that has a matching word. So in this case, I have a video on my storefront that has this in it about the ghost. This is the same product that I wanted, and I've already created my genius link here. Again, all you have to do is you just right click the link and click this button right there to turn that into a genius link. I've already done that. so. All I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tag it. I'm gonna hit, hit, click that button. It's gonna automatically populate that information for me just like I wanted it to. I'm gonna get rid of some of this to make sure that it's not too long. That still looks like it's a little bit too long. So I'm gonna get rid of the word decorations. I'm gonna leave Halloween in there. And there we go. This is, oh, I still have to get rid of this one. Halloween outdoor, there we go. Whoa, it's still too long. What's going on here? Okay, here we go. Now I can hit save. My genius link's already in there. I'm gonna show you, I'm just gonna go through all these to show you how quick this is. This video right here, I can see, I'm gonna select open image and new tab. That's a right click that lets me see that. These are headphones, that's what I thought. So I'm gonna click this button here and I don't see any, he oh, there they are. Actually, there's the headphones right off the bat. I've already got my genius link created. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click the use link button. It's automatically gonna insert that into the video for me. I'm just gonna make a quick adjustment to the title to make sure that it is under 100 characters because those titles are super long. My genius link's already there. I'm just going to click the button there. And again, if you don't do the genius links, it's just gonna insert your regular link into here or whatever link that you uh, submitted, uh, currently have on your storefront right now. If you wanted to do site stripe through this method, that's a little bit more difficult. You would have to actually go back to YouTube to create a site stripe link. That's why genius links is so effective here. Uh, this one right here, I can see these are insoles. I'm gonna do a quick look at the thumbnail just to make sure those are insoles just like I thought. And I'm just gonna start whipping through here. I don't see insoles here. I'm just gonna do a quick check here. There's not as many, I got 13 pages, but I'm not gonna look through all of them. So let's say insoles. And this is really handy in situations, there it is, that I already have my Genius Link, where you use keywords in your titles. Like I always try to use some sort of a keyword in all of my titles just to make them unique from each other. I'm gonna get rid of all this right here. And that's what the search is gonna do. 
Um, that's already done. All right, I'm gonna click save here. This one here is ghost. I don't even have to click that. I know exactly what that is. And we should see this one here pretty quick. I'm gonna type ghost. And there it is. See, this was a 129 time frame within a second of each other. This is the one that I want. I'm gonna click link or use link and quick format and or I'm gonna get rid of it with timer. Let's do it like this. And you don't have to use the product name in the title. I mean, as you can see here, it's causing me some problems because I have to do a formatting each time. So what you can do is you can actually use the exact same name that you're using on Amazon as your title here on YouTube. You just have to use the same placeholder, but I just end up choosing the product name placeholder for no well, reasons that I don't quite understand. I'm gonna just click, click through here. This is a cat toy. I can tell you exactly what that is. So do I see it immediately up uh, there? Actually, I do. There's the cat toy right there. Use link. And I've already made uh, for all these, the genius links whenever I was going through and doing the, the, the setup for this. So that's why they're already done. There it is right there. All my disclosures there. That makes me happy. Just going to do a couple more. And again, just giving you an idea of how easy this is, especially whenever you do it by the bulk. I didn't see what the time frame was or what this was. This is... Uh, oh, a luxury chair. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Yep, perfect. And so what I'm going to do is click the little icon, and I'm looking for the chair right off the bat. Do I see it? No, I'll just check quickly on this page. Do I see a chair here? I don't. So let's type it in and see if I used it in my title. If not, I have to... Oh, there it is. If I can't find it through the title, I'm going to have to click through and scroll. And I have to keep clicking each set of five to see if I can get to it. Here we go. Office chair. And that's still a bit long. I bet if we get rid of ergonomic, there we go. Genius Link's already there. We're going to click save. And the last one is some sort of a supplement. I don't know exactly which one this is. Uh, I can see the bottle right back there. So that's going to be very, very helpful. So what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to click this 124. So let's see if I can find, I'm not going to be able to look at it by name because I don't know what the name of the supplement was. But what I'm looking for here is a matching. And if you guys are laughing at my time, st the, the videos I've created, <laughs> some of these, uh, I apologize. You guys know what kind of videos I make. Um, let me see here if I can click through. I'm looking for that exact same bottle that I had. Now, this one's tough because there's 16 pages. So something like this might take a little bit longer to get to the one until I find it. I think that might have been ancient something if I remember right. I'm going to click a few more of these. I'm sure I'm going to get to it here. Quick, there it is. Uh, this probiotic, that's the one that I wanted. I'm going to do the right click. I haven't selected or created my genius link from this yet. Sometimes you got to do it twice. And there we go. Use link. Automatically going to update it for me. Going to format the title. And I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to change that placeholder out of there. So I'm not having to do that every single time. But it's an option there if you want it. My genius link is there. I'm going to click save. Now all that I have to do is click these that I want. And I'm going to set them to live. I'm just going to go to, I forget which one it is, visibility, public, and update. So I just went through and I updated all of those videos. I tagged them with genius links and the videos are live. This is the best and easiest way to to repurpose your uh, product, uh, your videos, your content from Amazon over to YouTube. Do it in bulk is the easiest way. The individual way works fine. The only problem I found with that is it interrupts the Amazon uploading content flow. I feel like whenever I'm uploading Amazon content, I want to just consistently be in that flow of upload, upload, upload. If you jump back and forth between Amazon and YouTube too much, it can pull you out of that and maybe distract you slightly. So I like doing just all Amazon and then I'll go and I'll do uh, all YouTube. Now it's really important to note that in order for this process to work correctly, you have to have your template set up as we showed, but you also have to make sure that your storefront fetch is up to date. Because as we saw, what YouTube is doing is it's pulling information from your storefront to help you tag and match those products so you can fill those out very quickly. And so if you've uploaded videos this morning to your storefront, and now you're wanting to upload them to YouTube, if you haven't done a fetch since you uploaded that content, the extension is not going to be able to find it to tag it. So pretty much before you move over to the YouTube part of this on any given day, just do a quick storefront fetch to make sure the, that your the extension has all of your storefront information. It's up to date so YouTube can pull that in properly. But I'm really excited about this. Whenever I first put out the YouTube thing, it was really just a pass through. It was a button to send you to YouTube so you would re be reminded to do the things you're supposed to do over there. And this was always my goal was to keep getting you guys closer towards efficiency and automation with repurposing your content 
content from Amazon over to YouTube with the least amount of effort possible. And the fact that we've been able to include genius links into this process to me is just another a value add on top of everything else. And this is just another version. I'm gonna to continue to make the YouTube side of this better. I'm actually working with the Genius Links team to try to come up with more solutions to make this whole thing even more efficient. Like I said, Genius Links is like six bucks a month and you're gonna get way more out of your links when you use a tool like Genius Link. So again, I'll put the link in the description down below if you don't currently have it because you do need to have the extension, the Genius Links extension on your computer in order for this process to work. And you need to make sure that your Genius Link account is set up and you have your Amazon stuff set up all in that. And that's a totally different video. But once you've got that going, this process is gonna work great for you. So thank you guys very much again, as always for the support. Really excited for you guys to get your hands on this and start building those YouTube channels that you've been talking about doing but can't seem to find the time to be able to do it. This is gonna help you do all of that. So thanks you all so much for watching. And as always, we will see you on the next video. Peace out.